Oh shit, look what I got! Whoa! That ain't it! Shh, don't you fucking tell nobody, you little- It's the new Pokemon Moon! A Sun! A Moo! I don't know why I bought three copies of the game, I guess I just got a little excited! Now, unless you snatched that shit from 4chan and put it on your R4 and got your entire fucking 3DS band, good job, by the way, you're a real winner! You've only been playing this for less than a week, and I have to say, this game is pretty freaking awesome! But this isn't a review, because that shit is stupid! Seriously, what the fuck do you think I am? IGN, okay, fine. This game is 1,000 out of 4. That's my completely unbiased, non-sponsored review. If you don't know, Pokemon Sun and Moon takes place at a place called Lola, which is a dystopian Hawaii with horrifically disfigured clones of Tito from Rocket Power called Pokemon. I got myself a fresh new mile copy of Pokemon Moon here, so let's do an unwrapping. Shit, just let me get a free hand here. <laughs> Right. Knowing how most video games are packaged physically now, there probably is a whole lot of Jack and shit in this box, and Jack is on a freight train to Wisconsin to work in the cheese factory. M -m 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 money shot. That's a whole new low of bastardizing famous YouTubers, kids. And you know, I always assume you're kids, but the demographics in my Google Analytics actually says you're all elderly, and I shed a few tears while rejecting many offers from diaper companies. Oh, look at these little empty, insatiable demons raised by the warm glow of technology. That is heartrending. So what you gotta do, you gotta make sure to recycle whatever garbage you got in the 3DS. You won't fucking need it anymore. This shit is biblical. Next, just put in the game. Yeah, yeah, just put it in. What are you fucking stupid? It goes the other way. Yeah, just put in the fucking game. Huh. I'm very disappointed in the lack of, you know, Hawaiian is a language that you can select here. Well, hello there, friend, with your shirt off. Oh my god. I can literally feel the cells in my body turning gay. You are handsome. Or should I say Alola? Yeah, that's what they say for hello in Alolan. Imagine if they did that in Hawaii, then everybody would be walking around saying Alolan. Yeah, you like that, you fucking weeb. But watermelon, oh, watermelon, you're disrespecting the Hawaiian culture. And oh my fucking God, I'm so upset right now. Just stop. 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 Let me give you a lesson before you hurt yourself. If Hawaiians say Alola, then Alola say, Fuck you. I don't need to explain myself. I'm gonna pick the character that resembles me the most. The African-American woman, because I'm an African-American woman. Grab your talking map and purple backpack, Dora. Let's put those fucking hiking skills to good use. And, and don't even try breaking the fourth wall, because you're fucking mute. Wait, wait. Why? Why? Y you wish your mother were a milte? Hey! Just because my mother has four nipples, guys, that doesn't mean she's a cow. Okay, okay, let's get into it. You've been waiting so long, you've got a Brock level hard on for this game. You're on the prowl making casual conversation in front of the Chick fil A. Like, how are you doing, Nurse Joy? Where's your chassis? My name's Brock, if you didn't know that. I love you. I'd do anything for you. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoa, young Brockovich, don't spill your dream balls into the groundwater. Let's go through the newest iterations of your three favorite bastards. Yeah! I really want to know in the hell fucking dare anyone out there make fun of Pablo after all he's been through. He just wants to make you his little water balloons to make you smile. But all you people care about is cutting him down and making fun of him. You're lucky he even performs for you bastards. Leave Pablo alone! Oh, but he turned out okay. Litton is uh, pretty emo, but watch the fuck out because it can attack with flaming hairballs. Flaming hairballs, guys! You do not want to feed this thing anything spicy. So make sure you don't feed him the leftover chili pepper chimichanga or this might happen to you. Hey, Okami! What? Do you want a hug, buddy? No. Oh, yeah, sure you do. I'm warning you. I warned them to leave me alone and just let me stare blankly at the kitchen floor. I was very patient. When they held me, I did my best to keep from killing them. I thought about it many times. Good, good. If you haven't had a stroke by now, I'm proud of you. Though according to WebMD, 1 in 20 of you eventually will. So let's keep going and see what happens. Here is some other fascinating nightmare submitted by any social preschoolers who keep sniffing the rubber cement. So good tomorrow to you, laddies. My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to my limiter is sobbing on the floor. 
are being infamous. Oh, oh, God, not you again. How the fuck did you get out of the oven? Never mind, it doesn't matter. I'm done being nice. You're not the same Pikachu as that Pikachu, Pikachu. You just have the same memories, Pikachu. Your parents never loved you. You didn't even have any parents. You're just a clone, an experiment. Ash left you, and you've been a drunken hobo ever since. You were made in China by a little boy who doesn't even know what a Pokemon is. Wait, wait, Pikachu, no, don't cry. I'm so sorry I didn't mean it. Now gather around the fire, children. It's just me, Watermelon Grandpa. Let me tell you the story of Ash Ketchum. Uh-huh. Spoiler alert, he didn't catch them all. Aw. But his success was in trying. Oh, really? 721 million times. Six and a half hours later. And then I put a wrench in it and your grandmother. Just hyper beat me to death. Heaven have mercy. Waylord lost some weight here. Wow, good on you. Been in the gym. <laughs> Making everything a sloppy mess for all the lunk kids. <laughs> Christ almighty, Executor looks like a tree ant with swollen mammaries now. He just knows some a little lowland boy every time his father asks him to go gather some coconuts, has a nervous breakdown, and starts carefully tapping each tree to make sure it's safe. <gasps> oh my god, please don't make me do it, daddy. Get out there and get those coconuts, you little shit, or I'm spending your college savings on ultra balls. I got the spooks. This is Samara from The Ring trying to fit in at an anime convention with a Pikachu costume she bought from an e eBay seller named I Can Fabric 123. If you pull that off, she's probably gonna try to get you to watch a really bad movie. She actually put a lot of effort into transferring the VHS to digital so that she could get it to you on Blu ray. In order to give the next joke context, we need to go back far into the past, November 13th, 2016, when many citizens of Club Penguin started a protest against Donald Trump on the main town iceberg. After getting word of this on November 14th, Donald Trump booted up his Club Penguin account for the first time in eight years to try to calm the masses. Little did he know he would be sucked into video games forever. Ah, it's Donald Trump! Little Donald Trump! Also big Donald Trump! Here to make Alola great again! Fuck me, daddy! Man, yeah, just pop this thing in the microwave for a bit and bam! Charge a bug! Beep beep! Guess who's on garbage duty and having a bad Monday? For watermelon, I'm a battery and not a garbage truck! You certainly do look on probation for battery and assault. I just stay in the ground, oh! So apparently this thing's a battery, so holy shit! But wait, it keeps going and going! Careful who you call ugly in middle school! Better get Mega Man down here to deal with Neil Cutman! 